Okay, so good morning. Uh, this is Waterstock, Oxfordshire. We're right in the heart of the countryside. I'm showing you now two new built barns um, that were constructed last year, 2020. Um, this is barn number one. Uh, it's around about 1150 square feet. Um, outside, as you can see here, you've got a good space. Parking for two, maybe three cars. You've got some lovely raised bedding here, which would be quite attractive once planted. Really good sized patio. Does extend round to the side to give us a little bit more garden. This is a bigger plot out of the two. Small garden area here. Extending round to another sort of side garden, which you have access from the main living area, which I'll show you shortly but nicely enclosed by some dwarf walling. There are five, six dwellings in this little cul-de-sac, which is a really lovely spot of Oxfordshire, very close to sort of motorway links, going up to Birmingham, going down to London, um, and obviously uh, Haddam Tain Parkway for mainline train station to Marleybone. But let me show you inside. So, as you come in, You've got nice spacious entrance hall, uh, nice solid wood flooring with under flooring downstairs, radiator heating upstairs. We have good size understairs covered with your manifolds for your underfloor heating. We have a separate utility room, which is good, just keeps the washing machine, etc., out of the main living space. And we enter the, the impressive main living area. As you can see, uh, loads of light. Fantastic kitchen, love the colour scheme here, uh, all your mod cons, you've got your dishwasher, built in fridge freezer, double oven, got your bin storage, nice ceramic pot and extractor. Hamilton's kitchen, if I haven't already said, but this is a lovely space. You've got plenty of locations for sofas, TV, dining table. And then obviously your kitchen area. Now these windows, just to show you, they when they they're either tilt coming out to let some fresh air in, or they can right open fully. So in the summer you can let a lot of air in, cool you down. Door there gives you access to the side garden that I showed you earlier. So I think it's about 32 foot in length. Really good space, really good size. Love that room. And then down here, quite flexible this barn. We've got a bathroom downstairs with a bath and a shower over. Again, it's a good size. So it gives you flexibility because you've also here got another reception room, or it could be a second bedroom, but perfect place to be working from home, like many of us are doing at the moment. But very flexible. And then on the first floor, we have one really good size master bedroom with an ensuite. suite. Got a nice little landing area here so you can have some furniture or something. There, but again, nice size bedroom. Even though we've got some eaves and we're not restricted on six foot and plenty of space for me to stand. Um, shower room, fully enclosed shower, it's a nice big double shower cubicle. Sort of skylights giving it some character. So this is bar number one, um, which is two bedrooms, or you can have two separate reception rooms. It has a slightly larger plot. I'll just now take you to uh, barn number two. Okay, so barn two, uh, Waterstock, Oxfordshire. Um, just show you the outside space first. Again, you've got two large raised bed areas. Um, you've got a nice sized patio. Parking here for two cars, one behind other. Location wise, sort of west is sort of that direction. So it's quite a nice sunny aspect in the afternoon an evening. And you just do have a very small sort of garden, plenty of space for a shed or something, but a little bit of outside space. 
and then you do have um, a path here that goes all the way down, doesn't lead to anywhere other than a door that takes you to the utility room. So, bar number two, which is located on a smaller plot, but it's about 75 square feet larger and is configured differently. So, again, we're coming into a nice entrance hall. Um, we have a good storage cupboard, uh, manifolds for the underfloor heating located. We have a downstairs cloakroom in this one, not a bathroom, but a cloakroom. Again, you've got a very impressive, open plan, vaulted main reception area. Same with the windows, they tilt or they fully open. Also, on this one, we've only got them on one aspect. Obviously, you've got one uh, facing out there as well. Um, kitchen, the same colour scheme, same house kitchen, same appliances, uh, simply dishwasher. You do have a slightly larger utility room in this one. So again, this is the door that takes you out to the rear corridor I showed you earlier. So again, slightly larger utility. But this is quite a nice, impressive space. On my website, I have some CGI's to give an indication of how the furniture could be located in this area. Um, further under storage, space under the stairs. So here we could be, this could be class of bedroom three, or it's a separate reception room, and again, like I said, next door, home office for us that are working from home at the moment. Um, so again, very versatile. First floor, we have two bedrooms on the first floor of this, this property. Again, you've got a landing, uh, you can have a family bathroom in between both bedrooms. So, bedroom number one, reasonable size, nice skylight, skylight even, even shall I say. Which what gives the popular character. And then another further bedroom. So you've got two bedrooms up here, family bathroom, and then you've got a, a further reception room or bedroom for the downstairs. But both built to really good quality. Fantastic location. Which is brand new, so we could comfortably currently, as we are the 7th of January, have this completed by the end of March to avoid any stamp duty. So please give me a call, Darren Hunt, College and County in Tame, 01844 399 292. Thank you for listening.